All right, everybody. I am in Tyler, Texas. I'm in downtown. Got a big square here. A uh, couple of tall buildings. Pan around a little, give you a look. The square kind of goes around here on the other side of that building. It looks really nice so far. So I'm going to wander around here a bit, show it to you, and uh, of course tell you about the city. I'm thinking though, since it'll help you visualize the place in your head, that I will show you the drone shot that I just flew right now. I'm across the street from the square. I was just over there. Uh, but now, let's take a walk around. I'll tell you about the town. Uh, 2020, there were 106,000 people here. Uh, 2021, a year later, 107,200. In fact, I look back on the census numbers Tyler has never lost population. It's been growing continually since it was founded. Metropolitan area is, this is 2021 numbers, 241,800. Uh, Tyler is the rose capital of the world. Now, in the 20s through the 40s and 50s, they produced more roses right here than anywhere else in the world. That doesn't happen now. They still call themselves the rose capital of the world because the city still produces somewhere around 30 to 40% of all rose bushes on the planet. So the city has a rose theme and you see it everywhere. It's a big deal here. In fact, they have uh, the big rose festival every year where a rose queen and her court are selected. That happens every October. Uh, it's a big deal. It's a great old theater here downtown and it is open and operating. Something you like to see. Anyway, more about the city. It's uh, devout. 74% of the residents of this town consider themselves very religious. It's also a city of families, so if you're young and want to party, it's probably not the place you want to be. But, if you want to raise a family, it is. This is the town. Um, protection for that family is very strong. High gun ownership rate. And, uh, so what does that mean for crime? I was a little surprised. It's about the same as the national average. I would think the crime here was lower. But that being said, it's a pretty, uh, pretty big town. So it's just something that comes with being a larger city. It's not a huge city, but it is a good sized city. Like I said, it's never lost population. You can tell that the infrastructure has not kept caught up when you drive around here because traffic is bad. I mean, geez. In some places it's Houston, Atlanta, that kind of bad. You just cannot get around. Anyway, today, by the way, is a Saturday. 
It's about 11 a.m. Beautiful day. It's about 60 degrees now, but it's going to get up in the 70s. The things that people do here, of course, are family related. Caldwell Zoo here is considered one of the best small zoos in the country. They have the Tyler State Park, where there's a lot of hiking and camping, fishing. Uh, that surrounds a lake, a small lake. There is a really big lake here called Lake Palestine, which is near. And again, you're getting into boating and fishing, camping. There are big things to do here, big pastimes. Um, the city was named after the 10th president of the United States, John Tyler. Taking a look at the county courthouse, which is in the center of this, what, square here. Very typical of Texas. Uh, love these brick roads though, right? And they go in each direction quite a bit. Anyway, the hard numbers of the city. Poverty is 15.6%, a little higher than the US average. Per capita income is 29,700. Uh, median household income is 54,900. Those are all a little lower than a national average. Um, cost of living here, though, is pretty low. So it probably evens out. According to the U.S. Census in 2020, the average home here was worth 164900 So you see what I mean about the cost of living. Housing's definitely cheaper. However, Zillow, uh, 2022, actually their latest number, early November, says the average house is going to cost you 240500 That's a pretty big jump. So housing is definitely rising here, like it is in much of the country. I checked with rent.com to see what average rents are here. Uh, one bedroom will cost you $964. A two bedroom, $1114. A three bedroom, $1145. Now that seems a little odd to me. I mean, a three bedroom's only, what, $30 a month more? Hmm, I'll just get a three bedroom. <laughs> anyway, like I said, this is our third day here. Been around the town a bit. It's really nice. It is a really nice town, and I could see why people would want to raise their families here. All right, well, I have encircled the square. So I'm gonna get back in the Bronco and check out some neighborhoods. Uh, neighborhoods that are right around here, close to downtown. So I'm gonna do that right now. Well, I'm in a neighborhood just south of downtown. I'll show you where I'm at. Downtown's kind of right here. So I'm gonna take a look up here real quick. Then head to North Tyler. Um, but you can already see, neighborhoods here are beautiful. Lots of trees. We've got the uh, brick road. How about that? But yeah, look for yourself. That's a beautiful home. Grand. Beautiful grand home. They're all through here. White picket fence, <laughs> really nice. I'm two or three blocks out of downtown, still seeing these red brick roads. That's really nice. See a lot of flags. Um, you know, the town feels old fashioned. You know, if that's the right word. Feels like an old fashioned town. I mean, and then you see a gym like this. This is why I don't shoot houses in suburbia. Always get people commenting, why didn't you come out here, the new part of town? Because they just don't build houses that look like this anymore. You know, they just don't. I'm a. Uh, Kind of on the east side of town, of downtown. 
I'm just going back and forth across Broadway. This street right here goes through the middle of town. Traffic is always bad on it. I'm sure the locals will <laughs> confirm that. But whoa, look at this. Yeah, I'm in a historical district now. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's a big house. It says it's the Mayfield Hunt House. Wow. It's not the only one here, though. Look at these. Beautiful old stately homes. Now, see, people live in these. That is gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, you can see downtown's right over there. So I'm very close still. All right, I'm east of downtown. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. The taller buildings in the city. Still got real nice houses here. Yeah, it's a really nice area. I want to head towards uh, north of downtown right now, though. All right, I'm heading into the northern part of town here. Rough roads. <laughs> Got some older buildings here. Some artwork. Well, I can see uh, a couple of homeless guys in there. I hadn't seen any homeless people yet, but there's a couple in that building there. Uh, I'm not sure what this building here is. Uh, it looks like a church, but uh, this big tall round building, that's what I'm wondering what that is. Maybe someone could fill in, a resident. Anyway, I'm going to head into some neighborhoods in the north part of town. Let's see what we can see. My understanding is that this is the little bit rougher area. I mean, the houses aren't as fancy and nice, but, you know, it's kind of pretty here. Yeah, I'm a couple blocks out still got brick roads in the neighborhoods that's pretty nice anyway yeah I'm still driving around the northern part of town here yeah clearly it's not as fancy but uh, it's okay let me put it to you this way I've been to a lot worse <laughs> It's not bad here at all. All right, I'm a couple blocks west of downtown. Just take a quick look, see? Looks like middle class homes. <laughs> these look more new. See, I usually don't film homes like this. But these are pretty close to downtown. I'm guessing this was developed not that long ago. Uh, anyway. Yeah, just, just a little short section of those. Now these look like some older homes, the kind you see near downtown. A lot more trees here. And we've got an abandoned house here. Yeah, that one's not in good shape. That one's done for. All right, well, I want to end this part of the video here. I'm going to grab the wife, and we're going to check out a couple things together. It's really pretty here. Of course it is. It's By the way, honey, what? I beg your pardon. What? 
I never promised you a rose garden. <laughs> oh, God, you're such a dork. <laughs> but I did promise I would take you to one, so here we are. <laughs> We're at the Tyler Rose Garden. It is the largest in the world. You know what it reminds me of? What's that? That lovely rose you bought me one year for Valentine's Day. Yeah. And it was alive for like five months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was a Tyler Rose. <laughs> no, she's, what well, she's referring as a rose that we thought was real, but it wasn't. It was Ain't no we. You bought it and said it was real. You already had it in the vase with water and everything. I was just messing with you. No, yeah, you sure you it. were. Sure you, you were. It, hook, line, and it finally occurred to me, I'm like, that rose, we kept making, we kept mentioning, wow, that rose is, it's alive for a really long time. And finally I'm like, that's not possible. And I go up and grab it and I'm like, oh my God, it's not even real. <laughs> yeah, you totally fell for it. <laughs> Shut up. At least I figured it out. You, no, you would have been looking it at it for like it. years. I was messing with you. You were going to continue looking at it for years and be like, wow, that rose is still alive. <laughs> anyway, this... Uh, and it kind of looks like one of these. <laughs> this rose garden has... <laughs> 38,000 bushes and represents every kind of rose known to man. So we're going to check it out and show you what's going on here. <laughs> uh, they have a rose museum. Thinking we're going to go take a look at that first. Tyler Rose Garden Center and Rose Museum. You ready? Let's go check I'm it out. Ready. Let's go learn what we can about <laughs> roses. All right, we are entering the Tyler Rose Museum. The rose garden itself is free. Museum is $3.50 a person. That's not too bad. So this this will be the Rose Queen. Nicole, see? Dolls of it. But they have a Rose Queen who's uh, anointed every year with her court. Oh, cool. And she always has this long dress. Well, a dress with this really long train. Let's put it Put it that way. Oh, here, this must be the former queens. Mm -hmm. Now she looks like she could be queen with that train. <laughs> she, looks, she looks like a real queen, doesn't she? With that train? 1939. It does look like... How about that? Wow. They get a spectacular dress every year. Yeah, look at that one. I said 1948. Mm. Wow. Uh, look at this one. Here's from 1958. They actually have the dress. This one here is, look, this is from 1989. Which one is this one? This is 1989. This is 1989? Yeah. And look at her train. <laughs> oh, wow. How do you walk with all of that? Well, somebody has to walk behind her and carry it. I just wondering about this one. What year is this one? Look at that. 2010. This is 2010? Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Mm. That is some dress. <laughs> anyway, look at it. So she is a princess. Not the queen, but a princess. Is that right? She doesn't have that long train. I would guess. And the crown. It's a replica. It's not the real one. I guess only the queen gets the uh, real one. Hmm. How about that? <laughs> 19, look, this one. <laughs> look, apparently I read a little bit about this, but I had no idea it was so ex extensive. Look, this has all the rose queens. Has all of the rose que uh, queens, huh? By year. The year I was born, right here. What, Whoop. 1933? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're funny. It, well, because that's where it starts. I feel like it. That's it. it starts back here in 1933. Yeah. 1933. First one. Yep. That's her, huh? Mm-hmm. She won the first one. They don't have too much on her. Just a couple little news clips. Yeah, what's her name? Margaret Copeland. Margaret Copeland. Oh, that's spectacular. I mean, wow, they're showing all the elements to these rose festivals. Mm -hmm. They have every year the parade, the duchess, the court. I mean, look at this dress. This one is 1986. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. And then I guess the duchesses have a themed outfit, like that one there. Oh, yeah. What's up with the motorcycle? <laughs> I guess during the parade they have clowns. Clowns are freaky. 
<laughs> they probably think you're freaky. Your mom's freaky. Wow. Look at these dresses. Sparkly, sparkly. I like 1990. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the crazy gaudy. Uh, the whole idea is gaudy. I know, but I like I like the colors that are more cool Although way. I do like this one because it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. But yeah. I'm not. I don't know if I like all this. Hmm. I like it. This is a 1939 Farm All A tractor. It's what they use to uh, grow roses when they started doing it hmm. in the 1930s. There was the queen and the rest of her court. I wonder what year this is from. I guess I'd say 40s or 50s. <laughs> Maybe it was from the first one. Uh, 33? Could be. And this is the court of gaiety. That's the dress that she wore. What is this dress? 1935, court of Aurora. Now, it's 2019 so far. Hmm. Or 2020. It's the last one. That's crazy. Okay. These dresses are crazy, I tell you. So this dress is from 1981. <laughs> so they have an assistant to the queen. It's usually a girl, a little girl. Is that right? I'm sure. Yeah, train bearer, and that's usually a little girl also. There's two train bearers. And then the dress from 2012, right here. How about that? Two dozen, 50 cents. <laughs> Boy, it costs a lot more than that now. How would you know? You never buy me any. I do too. <laughs> yeah. Real ones too. Yeah. All right, we have exited the museum <laughs> and we're checking out the Rose Garden. I think the best time of the year to see this is um, October. Oh, what? We're only a few days into November. Well, five days into November, but yeah. I think this is uh, the off-season for them because a lot of the bushes don't even have roses. A lot of them do, of course. These right here. So we've got some of your classic red roses here. Look at these pretty pink ones. Yeah, pink ones. This is called Ant's Honey. I don't know. That's what, that's what the little sign says, Aunt Honey. Yeah, that's really pretty. Aunt Honey. And the yellow ones over here? Would these be Texas roses? <laughs> I'm sure. Right, the yellow rose of Texas? Julia Child. Is that Child. What these are? Julia Child. Don't oh, forget Julia Child. These are the I yellow roses dead. of Texas. <laughs> I'm not sure if she's dead. She might be. I thought oh. yellow roses meant friendship. No, it means Texas. Get with the program. I think it means friendship, too, if somebody gives you yellow roses. Yeah, these yellow ones here are particularly nice. There's a bee. Yeah. Cool. Well, there it is. Tyler Rose Garden. The world-famous Tyler Rose Garden. We have seen it. But now it's time to go get something to eat. I was going to uh, steal a rose for you, but I'm not a vandal. So you're not a what? A vandal. And the rules, I read the rules, and rules are rules. You did not read. Don't pick roses. Okay, we are going to have an early dinner here at Clear Springs. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm a little bit burned out on Cajun food. <laughs> and Mexican food. I just wanted good old-fashioned American food. And this place was recommended to us as being a good place to get just regular good old American comfort food. American comfort food? Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Comfort Clear food Springs. Just comfort food just means fattening food. Basically. That's right, fattening food. So I'm ready. Now we're inside now. It looks uh, it looks like a country place, doesn't it? Yes. With all the wood and the... it's cool. I hope it's as good as Cracker Barrel. Anyway, we're going to sit at the bar. Well, we have our Jack Daniels, our usual. And 
and we're going to try an appetizer first. Shrimp wontons. Jumbo shrimp with uh, mixed cheese, bacon, serrano peppers, and a cherry mustard sauce. How's that sound? I'll put the cherry mustard sauce in. Oh no, it's, it's the best part. I already tried it. All right, we're gonna give it a whirl, see if it's any good. Well, we've each tried one. What'd you think, hon? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, good? Mm -hmm. She refuses to eat it with the cherry mustard. I did. Does it taste like cocktail? No, it tastes like cherry mustard. Similar, it tastes similar to cocktail. No similar. It tastes good. Our food is here. I'm having a good old fashioned chicken fried steak. Gravy, mashed potatoes, corn, toast. Yum, looks awesome. And you are having a salmon, salmon salad. And I got salmon salad. I got the it's got salmon all these onion strings on it. And the salmon looks nice and black and looks awesome. Black and salmon, yeah. Black and salmon, yeah. onion strings, uh, lettuce, onion. That looks good too. Yeah, it looks yummy. I well, love, we're gonna do I love salmon salads. Me too. You're gonna try your salmon now, your black and salmon? Yes. I'm gonna try the salmon. Hmm? I'm gonna try the salmon. Yes. Yeah. Is it good? Nice and juicy and black mm -hmm. on the outside. Good. Cool. My chicken fried steak is freaking awesome. Very comfort food, which I needed right now. The steak is good, the potatoes are good, and that gravy is some of the best gravy I think I've ever had. Shut up. No, not shut up. It's delicious. No, I said it's, shut up. <laughs> yeah. That gravy is awesome. It goes perfectly with everything. So there it is. The food, at least what we got here, is really good. All right, everyone, so that's the end of this video. We will be heading to Dallas for a couple days, and then, well, I'm not sure what the next video <laughs> will be. I was gonna say, what are we doing after that? But in a couple days, you'll see where we went. So, uh, be looking for that. <laughs>